Hi, everybody. My name is Rebecca Fast, and I am here in Parent University. For those of you who have joined us before, thank you, and we welcome you back. For those of you who are joining us today, thank you for logging into this workshop on Summer in the LBC. Um, like many of you, I'm a parent, too, in this district, and tomorrow is our kids' last day of school, and even the school has looked very different uh, the last few months. Uh, summer is still here, right? Summer, and the big question is, what do we do with our kids on Monday? Um, and so today, we're bringing you this workshop to give you some suggestions and some ideas, and we have some uh, community experts in with us today as well who can tell you what's happening with their programs throughout the district. So we will have uh, Michelle Wilson from the Long Beach Parks and Recreation Department. We're going to have Min Liu from the Long Beach Boys and Girls Club. And then we also have Cynthia Bautista, who is with the Long Beach Public Library. So if you have questions for any of those groups or if you want to um, tune in, you can definitely ask questions on the comment section through your YouTube. So right through YouTube in the comment section, feel free to put your questions in through there. Um, all of the resources are also available for you today. They are in that link that's right underneath in the section in YouTube. So right underneath there's a link and you can get all of the handouts, all of the websites, everything is accessible there. So um, I'm gonna jump right into it and talk about summer in the city a little bit. The first thing I wanna talk about and then get my screen going here. And my screen is not moving. There we go, sorry about that. Um, by the end of this workshop, uh, we are hoping that you have a couple of things, that you have a couple of takeaways from this workshop. By the end of this workshop, we hope that you understand why it's so important to keep kids both physically and mentally active over summer. Um, and we also hope that you can walk away from this workshop um, with where you can go to access some free or low cost resources throughout our city. The first thing as a teacher, I'd like to remind parents and, and, and help parents understand what's this idea of what's called the summer slide. The summer slide is this phenomenon that's gone back to 1906. They've been doing research on it. And it's natural for students when they are away from school for a few months to um, have a regression in some skills. Uh, without practice, reading skills can decline, math skills can decline. And as teachers, we usually plan on spending the first couple weeks and sometimes up to a couple months of school reviewing what was taught the year before. So today we're going to go through a couple of things parents can do just to bridge that gap um, in the summer. And we know, of course, this has been an unprecedented year. And so there's going to be gaps in learning and that's natural. That's going to be okay right now. But we'll go through a couple things that parents can do to help kids out during this time. Uh, let's see. Um, so there's for academics, there are some resources that Long Beach Unified will have available and has available. We've talked about Khan Academy before, so if you want to learn more about Khan Academy, you can click on the link. Um, you can also go into the Parent University playlist archive where you can see how parents can best access Khan Academy. It's great for summer math review. It's great for summer math practice. I've had my own kids during the summer just review fifth grade math where they can go through and do practice problems on certain grade levels math just to make sure they're ready for the year that's coming up. Um, it's a great review and it's easy to monitor as parents. As a parent, it lets you know how many minutes they've worked on it a day, um, their progression. So Khan Academy has some great resources. Through your student's student view, our elementary school kids will have access all summer long to Lexia. They'll have access to ST Math or GG, that little penguin, so they can practice their math. They'll also have access to Schoolhouse World, which is where they can interact with teachers, Long Beach Unified teachers, on some math extra help. That's for middle school and high school students. So middle school and high school students can access Schoolhouse World. We also have still our Home Learning Opportunities website. On the Home Learning Opportunities website, there's access to virtual field trips, there's interactive websites for all grade levels, there's podcasts, there's also a lot of movement opportunities. So there's Go Noodle and there's a lot of free yoga websites on that source as well. So all of those resources through Long Beach Unified will be available all summer long. And, uh, but learning can take place in lots of different ways, you know, and we've all been kind of parents have been teachers for the last few months. And so to take a break from that type of learning, you know, learning can look lots of different ways and kids can learn from many different experiences. So maybe this summer, take a hike as a family, find a new trail to, um, to go on. We're so lucky to live in Southern California where we are close to the beach, check out a new beach as a family take a bike um, path, um, try a new trail, one maybe that you haven't tried before, maybe learn a new sport, try cooking, new recipes, find a volunteer, a uh, place to go volunteer either with your kids or as a family. 
and even simply reading a book. All of these things are also learning. Learning doesn't have to be just math problems every day. Kids can learn in many different ways. So we wanna make sure they're not just doing TikTok all summer. We wanna make sure they're not just watching YouTube um, all summer long. We wanna make sure that they're engaged in some learning so that they are going to be ready to go in September. Whatever September may look like, whether it's online learning or at school learning, we're all still waiting to hear, but whatever it might look like, we want our kids to keep their brains engaged and active over summer as well. So, so that's my spiel from uh, as a teacher who's working here in Parent University. Um, I'm now going to pass it over to Long Beach Parks and Rec. Long Beach Parks and Rec, Ms. Michelle Wilson has a lot to offer our students and our uh, parents this summer. I'm going to switch it over to Michelle. Oh, Cynthia, and uh, Michelle, whenever you're ready, uh, I'm passing it over to you. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. Hi, everybody. My name is Michelle Wilson. I'm a recreation superintendent with Long Beach Parks Recreation and Marine. Um, I just want to share a little bit about what the summer is going to look like. Um, as you all know, it's nothing is what it used to be. So this would now be my 24th summer here with Parks and Rec and it's going to look very different than the other 23 that I have uh, participated in. Um, the first program I wanna to talk to you guys about, which we all feel is definitely one of our essential programs here in Parks and Rec um, is our summer food program. So I'm actually gonna share the flyer with you um, while I just speak about it. Um, so we will be offering summer food. This will be starting actually Monday. So I know the school district has been offering food during the school year. Um, the grab and go type of um, food delivery service or the food pickup service that we've been having. Um, that's going to continue, but uh, Parks and Rec, we are going to take that over as we typically do in the summer. Um, so beginning June 15th on Monday, we will have 33 sites that we'll be serving our summer food at. Um, it will be a grab and go, uh, so the food will be frozen, um, very similar to what the school district has been doing during the school year. Um, if you look at the flyer attached, um, all the times will be the same, so all 33 sites uh, we will be serving at the same time, so it'll be 1130 to 1230. Um, and again, it starts June 15th and goes through August 21st, and it's Monday through Friday. Um, if you have any questions, about our program, you can be between the ages of 1 and 18 to receive the meals, um, and you do need to be present. Uh, if, if you cannot have the child present, there is some stipulations, the same as the school district, um, and, and I can answer those questions individually if anybody uh, needs to know that information. Um, we have our website also on the flyer, as well as the phone number if you have any questions. Um, but other than that, it will be very similar to what you've been receiving um, through the school district. It will just be at the park sites and a few other um, locations that you can see that are listed on the bottom of the flyer. Uh, so that will be our summer food program. That is 100% certain going through and it will begin uh, on Monday. Um, next is, I know everybody has questions about um, camps or summer fun days or all of our recreation programs that we typically offer in the summer um, or special events. Um, unfortunately, we don't have uh, all of the information we need so that we're able to release all of the information. Um, but what, can I, what I can tell you uh, is we will be offering something. Um, it will be spread throughout the city um, and it will be uh, a camp type of situation. We just need to make sure we have all of our ducks in, the row, in a row um, before we release all the information. Um, so I'm actually going to put another flyer up for you to see. Um, maybe. Uh, sorry, one second. Let me find the flyer. Okay, never mind. I don't know where the flyer went. Um, I'll put it up later. Um, but the, everything is going to look very different um, recreation wise. We need to change our capacity numbers. So capacity will be lower. Uh, we're looking to have everything be custodial. So um, in the past, if you've been with Parks and Rec, we have a lot of drop-in programs um, with all the new CDC guidelines and, and just to ensure everybody's safety, we need to make sure we have a registration process. We need to make sure we have um, a sign-in process, a sign-out process. Um, likely there'll be a temperature taking process. So all, all the guidelines that you've been seeing with all the other um, openings that you've been seeing throughout the state, um, we'll have to follow those as well. 
Um, uh, we will still have the programming in place, you know, the arts and crafts and the outdoor activities and the games that we've typically played, um, but we'll look a little different as far as um, the ratio, the staff ratio to kid ratio, and also um, what kind of activities we're involved in. Um, obviously, the sharing of equipment will be different. The sharing of supplies will be different. Um, we will have groups of children, and, and they won't be rotating throughout different, you know, with different counselors and different um, rec leaders. Um, it'll be more of a, you know, you'll be in one group for the entire week with one staff member for the entire week. Um, so those are kind of the differences of how it's going to look. Um, obviously, it's still going to be a great positive experience, um, a, a healthy experience, and a safe experience. But we, we of course, need to follow all the state guidelines um, and just ensure everybody's safety. Um, so with that being said, I will, um, I'll get the flyer up maybe at the end of the presentation as soon as I can locate it. Um, but it does have the information about um, our website. And we will for sure by Monday of next week have all the information on that website as far as um, where the locations will be, what the registration process will be, when the, when the start date will be, um, and all the information that you will need for, um, for recreation in Long Beach this summer. Great. Thank you, Michelle. We, we had a, did have a couple questions um, that one came through. And this one is, uh, I'm not quite sure the answer to it either. Maybe you could help is, will there be any programs through Long Beach Parks and Rec um, for special ed students? Do you have anything for special education students? Um, we do have some special education contract classes. Um, those unfortunately have not been uh, um, released yet as of okay. yet, okay. Um, but we do. We do accommodate in our in, in any program that we do offer, we will offer accommodations just depending on what the accommodations are. Okay, thank you. And then again, um, a question came in and I know you said it, but maybe if you could just reiterate um, is how will parents know, this is from Dana Sumter, how will parents know when summer camp information and opportunities are released? Will they just need to check back on your website? Will there be any other way parents will find out? Um, we, we will have it on our Facebook page, our Instagram page. Great. We will also put, we'll push it out through our registration um, system. So if you've ever registered um, for youth sports or for any class that we've had, um, you'll get an email from us. Uh, we'll also have, and we will also have it on the website that I will provide. Well, it's actually the same website that's on this summer food flyer, uh, but I will try to get the other flyer up so you guys can see the information for that. Perfect. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. I know as a parent myself, we are all anticipating what's going to be happening with the Long Beach Parks and Rec because it's always such awesome programs. So thank you for being here today with us and answering our questions. And if you don't mind sticking around, that's, the questions are now starting to come in. So um, we might have another question here at the end. But right now, I, I do want to switch it over um, to our Long Beach Boys and Girls Club. Our yeah. Long Beach Boys and Girls Club is a wonderful institution here in Long Beach that usually every summer has a lot of programs for our kids. And again, this year, it's going to look a little bit different. Different. So, uh, Mr. Liu, I'm going to switch it over to you. Um, thank you so much. And Michelle, if you can uh, turn off maybe your screen share. And again, parents, all of those resources are available in the in the link that is right on, in the YouTube here. So all of the resources that they're talking about, you have access to in the links that are right below. Okay, Min, hi, thank you for being here today. Thanks for joining us. I'm gonna switch it over to you, Min. Thank you. Well, good morning, uh, parents and families, and, and Rebecca for getting all this uh, together. And, and Michelle, great job. And and, and uh, it was, I think it was great with, with the two agencies uh, speaking one after another because we're so unique and 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 so different. But we're we have so much strong ties here in Long Beach, so it's great. Uh, as as Michelle said, and I'm definitely going to reiterate, it's uh, not a typical summer as you may we know it. Uh, the pools will probably won't be open and. And summer recreation and trips, uh, those things won't happen. But here at the Boys and Girls Clubs, uh, we will still provide uh, services to youth in terms of the virtual, uh, the virtual arena. Uh, we are given a, an exemption to uh, help the families uh, of medical staff, first responders, and essential workers uh, since middle March, and we're still in that ex exemption. So uh, our normal days and times that we wouldn't have normally worked with um, club youth, uh, we've pretty much uh, had the youth and families work on our virtual programming through our Boys and Girls Clubs of Long Beach website. 
So what I would like to do, uh, as Michelle did earlier, is to also share uh, the information on our website. Uh, we hope uh, sometime, you know, we'll have our facilities uh, open for limited programming at some point, and um, information will be provided on our website once that the dates and times are, are, are made readily available. So without further ado, I would like uh, to share my screen, uh, which will include our website and, and all the information where parents and families and club youth can go on and participate in our virtual programming. Um, Rebecca, uh, can you see my screen? I just want to make sure everyone can see my screen. You're all good, Min. Okay, terrific. So uh, if, it, if uh, everyone has the opportunity to get onto our website, it's bgclublb.org. Uh, and the parent resource, the parent and club uh, resources on the site where it goes, what we do. If you click on that and you pull the screen out to calendar, uh, this is an example of the, our virtual programming this week, made it readily available to club members who aren't able to, to go to the sites. And we're just waiting for it to come up. So as you can see, um, first we do need parent consent. So, uh, when a parent goes on, they would actually fill out a, a consent form for youth to participate, just as if uh, any member was a club member uh, filling out an application. Uh, there's no cost to be part of our virtual programming. Um, also, we have, uh, besides the calendar and events, we also have here, I'm just gonna pull down uh, some of the daily activities that we have on our virtual programming. Uh, for example, today's the 10th, we had a create a paper mache pinata. Uh, for teens, uh, for teen club, we have the power of visualization. <clears throat> also, a family resource that we have uh, for our families is we have our grab and go dinners. Uh, and for families who can't be a part of our essential program, uh, we've been lucky every week we've had local businesses or local resources give us opportunities to provide meals for our youth and families. Uh, one example is this Thursday, from four to 5 p.m. we'll have a grab and go dinner for our club members and families at our Westside Club. And uh, it's a nice little care package uh, for meals, usually for a family of four to five. Uh, and it kind of helps out what's going on. Uh, and this week, uh, Panini Kebab and Grill is the, the restaurant uh, sponsor for, for this week's uh, grab and go. Awesome. Yes, and then uh, any messages besides our families and kids, we also have, uh, we keep our families, uh, parents updated on what's going on. So parents always check in. We'll definitely at some point when we open it up more, when and if the time comes, uh, this message center for parents will be an opportunity for parents to go on and kind of log on and see what the club is going, uh, usually doing for programming. So. That's what I have to share right now. Uh, I am definitely open for any Q and A. Uh, as we do have a question for you, Mr. Liu. We have a question, and I, I think you you did talk about it, but if you could just remind parents one more time, um, is how would they register for the Boys and Girls Club if they wanted to sign up for any of your activities or your programs? Where do they go? Yes. Yeah, so right now, um, our Eastman site, uh, we're at that. Uh, capacity level already. So we have space available for essential workers, uh, medical staff, uh, first responders, uh, military families. Uh, we do have site uh, space available at our 1835 West Willard location. Uh, all they would have to do is, uh, Rebecca, if you could share my business cell and my email, um, what I can do is I can send them or any interested parent that fits in that category I could send them uh, the membership application and the waiver. We do need a copy of 
uh, the essential workforce ID or badge and so forth. So we can file that uh, with the site. Okay. So feel free to reach out um, on email or on cell and I, I can provide them that information. I think they are also available on your website too. I think it's right on the homepage. If they go yes. to Long Beach Boys and Girls Club, yes. your, your email and your cell are there as well. So yes, yes. To, yeah. So if you, yeah. if you go yeah, to the- so it, You know, it's a very specific, uh, you know, usually a parent, uh, interested parent would come by the club and, or come by the, the center and, and request a tour and, and with the facility. And, and during these times, we just can't allow that right now. So we're very specific and a lot of the is done and, and, and so forth. And, uh, just like Michelle said earlier, we're just following the, the guidelines of the CDC currently. Okay. Um, until further notice, we, we hope to operate and serve more youth at some point. Sure. Well, we appreciate it. So the essential workers can definitely look into Boys and Girls Club. We appreciate you sharing your information with us. Um, yes. We have a couple questions that have been coming through. So um, while our next speaker is going, I will kind of filter through them and be able to bring them to you if you don't mind sticking on for a little bit. Um, that I might be able to bring you some questions. Absolutely. Great. Thanks, Mr. Liu, for all that great information. I'm going to now uh, introduce another great speaker. Uh, she's been with us before. She's always brought so much information. Um, she presents with us almost every semester, bringing with what's happening at the library, what's happening at our local libraries. We know that the library is more than just a library where kids can get books, but they have all kinds of um, activities and camps and services. So again, as a, as a Long Beach community resident, uh, Ms. Bautista, I too am I'm wondering, and I can't wait to hear what's happening this summer uh, at the Long Beach uh, City Library. So uh, Ms. Bautista, thank you for being us, with us here today. I'm going to pass it over to you, so feel free to share your screen and, uh, okay. and get going. Thank you so much. Let me share my screen really quick. So yes, yeah, so this year, obviously, everything is going to look very different um, than the past. So our summer reading starts um, this Saturday. Um, but everything is going virtual. So I'm gonna share with you a little bit of what we're doing at the library um, through our virtual programming. Um, this year's summer reading starts June 13th, this Saturday, and it goes through um, to July 25th. And our theme for this year is dig deeper, read, investigate, discover. Um, so for those of you that um, have not participated in summer reading before, it's a reading challenge um, that we ask readers of all ages to participate in from babies, from pre-readers all the way to adults. So if the children are too young to read, um, the parent or the caregiver can read to them and that counts um, as participation. And we also um, encourage the parents to sign up for summer reading so that they can act as a role model for their children um, and the whole family can participate together. So Dig Deeper, Read, Investigate, Discover, the theme for this year um, invites families um, of all ages to sign up to earn virtual badges on Beanstack. Beanstack is the summer reading platform that we're using where we're gonna track all of our reading. Um, and then through Beanstack, um, you can also um, win, uh, we're gonna have grand prize raffles um, that we're gonna raffle off at the end of the summer. So the more you participate, the more prizes you can earn. Um, and we're also going to have daily virtual programs through our website. So usually in the summer, we have performers at all the branches um, every week. Um, but unfortunately, we're going to be closed throughout the summer. So we, our staff is putting together programs for all ages, from children to adults. Um, and we're going to be streaming them through our website, through our YouTube actually, um, daily. And our kickoff is going to be a virtual kickoff this Saturday. Um, so we invite everybody to join our Facebook Live. We're gonna have two special performances. Uh, the first one is Mark Griffiths. Um, he's a ventriloquist that's gonna be um, streaming uh, at 12 o'clock, 12 to 12.30. And then Buster Balloon is a favorite of Long Beach. Um, everybody loves his show. And he's going to be streaming live at one o'clock this Saturday. And these are actually gonna be um, live streams. So you can visit our Facebook page to view these performances. And so for the children's portion of the program, we ask children to read for five days. It doesn't matter for how long they read as long as they pick up a book and read. 
Um, and then they can complete activities or write book reviews or draw book reviews if they, they um, would prefer that um, to earn their points and to win their rewards. So once they complete the weekly tasks, they will earn a virtual badge um, and a raffle ticket. And they can also come into the library um, once uh, we are allowing curbside, they can come and pick up a craft kit. So we have different prizes that they can pick, they, they can win for reading. This is an example of like, all of our prizes are actually going to be craft kits. There's different um, ones for each week. And if the child is too young for a craft kit, they can also um, request a board book instead. And then the prices at the end of summer reading, we're gonna raffle off, will all be um, subscription boxes. So for children, we have three different options, one for like the younger children, one for early elementary, and one for the older elementary students. For teens, uh, we will be um, giving out virtual badges for reading books, for writing reviews, or completing activities. So they need to earn three points in any combination that they like. Um, and they can also participate in our, in our Make, Create, Design, which is a special uh, program that we're having in the summer for teens. And I'll talk a little bit about that in, in a few minutes. Um, and then they can also enter the grand prize raffle, which are two different subscription boxes. And the adult program is very similar to the teen program. They can earn points by reading books, by writing reviews, or completing activities. And the two grand prize raffles are a, a coffee club, Atlas Coffee Club, or a Birchbox subscription. And to sign up for summer reading, we ask that you visit our library website, lbpl.org, or go directly to the Beanstack uh, link, which is longbeach.beanstack.org. And once you go into Beanstack, this is the landing page that you'll see um, with a big banner and a, and a brief description of summer reading. And then at the bottom, the bottom red button is where you would click to register yourself and your family for the program. Uh, and then, like I was saying, we're gonna have virtual programs throughout the summer. On Tuesday, we're, we're gonna have Craft Tuesdays, that's um, for children. On Wednesdays, we have the Big Dig, Grown Up Wednesdays, we're gonna have um, book, book talks, we're gonna have different like um, recipes that you can try. Then we have Teen Thursdays, Storytime Fridays, and Science Saturdays. And I, um, I mentioned earlier, Make Create Design. This is a special program that we have each year um, that's a little more intensive than our summer reading program. This one is every Tuesday and Thursday from two to four. This is specifically for teens between seventh and 12th grade. And this year's theme is video games. So the participants are expected to attend as many of the workshops as they can, and they will learn um, different elements of game development. So they're gonna learn about game design, about narrative, game programming, virtual art for games, and audio and music. And they're gonna use all of these skills that they learn to create their own video game uh, prototype. So these are like, different sessions that they can attend, but then they also get one-on-one -on -one help from our studio guides. And I also wanted to remind you all that we do have online resources available all the time through lbpl.org. We have our online homework help, uh, which is BrainFuse. Uh, we have lots of databases from um, opposing viewpoints. We have online encyclopedias. We have, for example, World Book Encyclopedia. And we have access to free e audiobooks and ebooks. We have free music through Free Goal, and we have videos and magazines. All of this is available with just your library card. If you don't have your library card with you, you can always call the library and they will either um, give you your number or you can sign up for a new card. So for the first um, downloadable ebooks and audiobooks, you can go to Overdrive um, and download a book and you can borrow it for two weeks and then it automatically expires and it's returned to the library. Um, this is also another option. If you're participating in summer reading, you can either read a book, an ebook, or listen to an audio book and those also count uh, for your reading. We also have Tumblebook. This is more for um, ebooks for children. 
And these have extra activities that they can either, um, the tumble books will read the book along to you. You can also read it on your own. Um, it'll have quizzes and, and it has games related to the books that the child is reading. And then Tumble Book Junior um, is for older kids for K through eight, but it includes a lot of graphic novels, a lot of chapter books. Um, for example, on the screen, you see Geronimo Stilton, which is a popular character. And if you haven't checked out Canopy, I really recommend it. It's um, a video streaming platform similar to like Netflix and Hulu. Um, this page that I'm showing you here is the kids page. It includes a lot, a lot of the PBS um, TV shows and a lot of the um, popular books that are turned into cartoons. And you get to stream up to six movies, six films per month for free with your library card. And if you have a Roku or um, a Chromecast, you can actually download the app and you can view it without having to sign in every time. And we also have free digital magazines that you can download and keep for free. Um, these are some examples of the children's magazines that we have. Uh, and once you download it to either your computer or your tablet, they're yours for until you want to delete them. You don't have to return them like the eBooks that are automatically returned. Um, so that is my presentation. I'm, I'm gonna show you really quick on the website where to log in to sign up for um, Summer reading. So this is our library website and we have added the summer reading banner to the front page. Um, once you go into lbpl.org, this is the first page you'll see. You click on details and it'll take you to the summer reading page where you'll find the link to sign up for being stacked for our summer reading. And here you'll also find the links to our programs, our weekly programs, um, and a brief description for each of the different uh, age levels. So um, let me go back to my other screen. And if you have any questions, we are, um, the library is closed, but we are still answer, answering our phones. So you can call the main library phone number between uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to stay through Saturday and we can answer any of your questions, but I'm also here to answer any questions that anybody might have. Hi, thank you, Cynthia. Such good information as always. Thank you so much. Um, we do have a couple questions. Um, one parent wants to know when will the, maybe the book drops be open so we can return the books that we checked out back in March? <laughs> yes, I know. We still also <laughs> have books at home, right? Um, there hasn't been a set date announced, but I know that it is coming soon. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can check our website. I'm thinking, I can't promise anything because I don't make the decisions, sure. but I'm thinking maybe within the next two weeks, hopefully okay. when everything is sorted out and then you can come pick up your prizes and bring back your, your books. Okay, perfect. So as far as the libraries being open, open, there's no date anytime soon that they will be open we, for regular Everything. No, we have not heard yet about a date. Right now, they're still planning on how to do more of like a curbside type service in the meantime, okay. um, so that you can get some books for your summer reading. Um, but to open, we have not heard anything yet. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Um, we did have a question about how to sign up for the teen summer reading program. Um, and I know you did talk about it, but if you could just say one more time how they can uh, sign up for the summer reading programs for all different levels? Yes, yeah, so we have um, on the website, the, let me go back to the website. Okay, so when you go to the website, you'll see the banner for summer reading on top and you can click on that. This one is to sign up for the specific like summer reading, the dig deeper. Um, if you're talking about the make, create, design, we have not added it to the website, but you'll find it here as well. It'll probably be another banner that says may create design. Um, and then it'll take you to the link where you can sign up for that. Um, at the moment, they're still working on that one, but you can come to this page and find everything that's summer reading related. And you'll see the link there to register for okay, summer perfect. reading and it takes you to being stacked. Perfect, thank you. 
Thank you. Again, so much information. I hope uh, Michelle and Min, if you are here with us, we do have some questions that have been coming in for all of you. So I might bounce around a little bit if you're all if you're available and if you're there. Um, Michelle, we had a question for the summer program. And let me pull up the questions here really quick. Um, one of the questions that we had was about bringing a ball to the park. Um, will they be able to bring, if they are doing the a summer rec program, will they be able to bring equipment from home into um, the park? Specifically, this one asked about Bixby Park. No, if they're part of our program, we will be supplying the equipment because we have to make sure that it's all sanitized. Perfect. Okay. Great question. Yeah. Okay. Great answer. Um, let's see. Uh, for the lunches for both of your programs, Min and Michelle, um, are any of the lunch programs grab and go, or are they programs where they have to stay at the park and or stay at the Boys and Girls Club, or are they um, grab and go um, meals? Uh, so for our grab and goes, uh, uh, they basically come up to the site and and we have staff that bring the grab and goes out. Uh, the meal, we do serve meals for the kids who are there on site, the essential workers, families meals, but it's all on site. Uh, and we, we provide a, a breakfast, lunch, and an eve, early uh, supper before the kids go. Yeah. Okay. The grabbing goes are, um, parents wouldn't even have to enter the building. It's all done outside. Okay. So yeah, I hope that answers the question. Does it? I think it did, I think so. And Michelle, do you know? Uh, same anything? for us, we're, we're all grab and go. Um, and they, they will all be outside the facility as well. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I, I think that's most of the questions that are coming in. There's a few that are coming in for the library. Um, again, I just recommend to all parents to log on to their websites um, because we are living in this new virtual world where um, businesses might be shut down, but they're putting so much information on websites. So whether it's Long Beach Unified or Long Beach Parks and Rec, our Long Beach City Library, or our Long Beach Boys and Girl Club, please refer back to the websites. A lot of the most current information and changes are happening as we know all the time today. Um, please always refer back to their main websites for more information and for changes. And so um, I think we've answered a lot of the questions. Parents and families, if you tuned in late and you wanted to rewatch this, it will be available in English, Spanish, and Khmer in about three days time. So if you refer back to our Long Beach Unified um, our parent university playlist. All of these materials, all of these resources will be available and you can watch them and rewatch them as you need and, or tell a friend. Um, for those of you who are, are tuning in at home, thanks for being here. I want to introduce one more person, my colleague here, Dilnari. So I'm going to pass it over to Dilnari uh, as she closes this out. But thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Min, for being here. And Dilnari, okay. I'll pass it over to you. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm Dolnari with Parent University. And I wanna take a moment and thank our presenters, Michelle Wilson, Min Liu, and Cynthia Bautista for providing such valuable information about the summer opportunities for our families in Long Beach. Also, thank you to Rebecca Fast who coordinated this workshop and our two parent coordinators, Yolanda Huerta and Sam Kyo, who helped make the content available in Spanish and Kamai. This live stream workshop would not be possible without the support of marketing and media services. So we're very grateful for their help. During the last two months, Parent University has been able to do four virtual workshops. And like Rebecca mentioned, this one will be available in a couple of days, but we have the other three workshops available on our YouTube page, on the district YouTube page. Check out the Parent University playlist. Our team and I would like to thank you for joining us today. Have a great evening.